guys welcome back this is mohammed badrudja and today i am going to solve another lab from web security academy and that belongs to the module directory traversal so in the last lab in the previous lab we saw how developer uh, performs the input validation but that was not also up to the mark to mitigate that uh, directory traversal vulnerability and we found a way to exploit that now in this video uh, this is going to be very very interesting because uh, we will actually going to use another kind of exploit to actually exploit the directory traversal vulnerability and that exploit that another exploit which we will use to actually exploit the directory traversal vulnerability that is going to be the null byte injection so before going to the lab just let's go and see this warning as always so this video and its content are only for educational purpose and i do not support any unethical or illegal app that's been said let's go to the lab so file path traversal validation of the extension with null byte bypass so before in the previous lab we see that there is a input validation but that validation is for directory so the input supplied by the user must start from slash var slash www something like this but this time developer did another validation or another type of validation that is extension validation means the application will only accept dot jpg file or dot png file or dot pdf file something like this so uh, if you are going to try to read any other extension of file so you cannot because uh, application or that piece of code will not let you do that so in this lab we are going to use the null byte injection to actually uh, broke that piece of code right so the agenda of this lab is um, same this lab contains the file path traversal vulnerability in the display of product image section so the application validates that the supplied file name uh, ends with the expected file extension as i mentioned before so to solve the lab retrieve the content of the etc slash passwd file same as before so and that is our lab so before actually going to uh, lab and exploit that i just want to uh, tell you something about null byte injection so null byte injection is actually uh, itself uh, exploitation technique which uses url encoded null byte character uh, like uh, um, here i can define well so null byte um, exploitation technique right uh, for null byte injection we actually mostly most of the time we use uh, these two so 0x00 so this is your uh, hexadecimal value and this is other value right url encoded null byte character so how we will use this actually suppose the file name is the parameter so file name is going to be um slash where slash www slash images and slash um zzz dot jpg right so uh, actually the application is checking for this validation if you are giving the, or the input is ending with the dot uh, jpg extension only then this request is going to be processed otherwise not so to just broke this query what we can actually do um, we can go with that etc slash pass wd so the web application will not know how to terminate that with that null byte extension and in that way we will get the uh, content of etc password file and we can actually in that way read any system file so uh, this injection process can actually alter the intended logic of the application and can allow malicious uh, user to uh, read the arbitrary files to get the unauthorized access right so as we know that all languages of the web 
uh, applications or to build the web applications are exploitable so uh, we can actually play around in case of sanitization or sanitizing the input or parsing file properly so that's it and let's go to test solve this lab now um, okay so we need to go to view details mm -hmm. and view image and i just wanna turn on the bug proxy and let's see we got hit or not no so i'm just going to again uh, okay this time we got the request fine so you can do one thing that send this request to the repeater you can just press ctrl r or you can right click and send this request to the repeater go to the repeater and this time you just get the file name not the whole path right and the application is actually looking for jpg so if we try um, png here instead of jpg let's see what is gonna happen so 400 bad requests and no such file and of course no such file because the file name complete file name is jpg so okay this time what i'm gonna do is and etc slash pass wd and i wanna uh, put here the null byte or just before putting the null byte let's see what application give us in reply same no such file so we can try null byte or we can try because in this specific lab you know what you need to do but in uh, real life penetration testing you have to try a lot of things you have to consider a lot of things and you have to imagine and you have to understand the mindset of the developer while you are testing any feature of the web application right so um, let's see if i try where slash www slash images and we try this so of course this is not gonna work um, images because that must be like this yeah, not gonna work so just come to the point and report zero zero and that's it okay um, still bad request um, etc pass wd try something else okay Increase this value nope so why not we can if just it like this and yeah that works first of all this is going to execute and we will get the content this is going to execute we will get the content and uh, it will consider this as the file extension so the um, condition is also satisfied and we will get the result also so if you go again back back and we will see that congratulations you solved the lab